Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Dawson, and today we have something a little bit different. Today I was going to release a new Deep in Stats video on Bryce Harper, but I had some problems with my editor, so I'm going to try my best to get that out by tomorrow. And I didn't want to go two days without uploading in a row, so I was able to throw this together. This is a clip from the latest podcast I thought a lot of you guys would enjoy, and if you want to listen to the whole thing, the link will be in the description. Thanks guys. And last thing, to give you guys some quick context, Noah and I started off by discussing the pace of play rules and the new MILB rule where extra innings start off with a runner on second. Obviously, you know, what we're talking about is, you know, rare scenarios. I don't want to act like it happens all the time because it doesn't. But the rare scenarios is really what makes baseball great and postseason baseball great. Yeah. And, and I feel like, you know, we're like trying to we're trying to take away from that by having oh runner on second. Yes, the game gets over quicker, but okay, it's less exciting. Me as a hardcore fan, do I want it to get over quicker? No, you know. And if you know the the team, if you're watching it on TV, they probably played you know a lot of their advertisements already through nine innings. So it's like you know if you don't want to keep watching the game as it goes into extra innings because you know. You don't like baseball because there's something wrong with you? Just turn off the screen or change the channel. Don't complain to Major League Baseball about it and then make them change a rule that nobody because, likes. Yeah. No, I've n no, I've think I like Smoltz has been the only person I've ever t I've heard that said they like it. And I think if you question a lot of fans, they're gonna say they don't want it in. Like, okay, there's a few people that like it and I understand why. Because it ends you know, the game quicker. It's either one, they're not hardcore baseball fans that will watch an 18 inning game, right? Even if it's the postseason, they're kind of like, oh, this is going too long. Turn it off, okay? Or two, you know, they kind of want to see the game end, okay? Then just watch the highlights on YouTube later. Go, right? go on MLB video and, like, what, what, how, what happened last night? Watch you know? the condensed game for all I care. But don't, because. Th them don't ruin it for everyone else them catering to the casual fans is pissing off all of the hardcore fans man yeah it's all of us because we're like no we don't want this we're fine leave us alone we don't we don't <laughs> like all you casual fans i mean you're fine you know you show up when the postseason happens right you know you got your little postseason hat on right but don't ruin the game for everyone else dodger fans since you know 2017 of october <laughs> right but and then you know oh this game is too long and boring oh my dude i can't i can't with these people because they're killing our own sport if you're a business you know you don't cater to a more general populace while upsetting your hardcore fans if you want to appeal to a more general populace and your hardcore fans are okay with it and then go ahead and fine. do it but in any business model, why would you want to upset your most hardcore fans, honestly? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to talk about this and complain about this. You know, MLB baseball's going to kind of win anyways. Because we're still going to watch baseball. What am I going to go watch? The NFL? No. The NBA? Oh, Warriors win. No. I mean, I might go watch some more hockey. But I'm still going to pay attention to baseball because I love this sport too much to just, To just know, abandon it. Yeah, to just abandon it and then, because you know, of people. watch it die. And then soon we'll, like, every inning will start with the bases loaded because Rob Manfred <laughs> wants some more runs to score. <laughs> they just need to stop, man. They, they, ne they, need, they need to take a moment and stop. And, you know, like... A few years ago, when they took out the whole, oh, you know, you can't trust the catcher anymore, which I, part of me agrees with, part of me disagrees with, right? You know, you always want to keep the players safe, but, you know, it's, it was one of the most exciting things in baseball, right? Contact still happens in baseball, but rarely, because you can't take out guys at second anymore, or third, or home. Like, yeah, and I understand you because you want to prevent people from getting injured, but I mean, like you said, it's still exciting when it happens. Players at the plate mm -hmm. were like the most exciting thing to, yeah. <clears throat> most exciting thing in baseball. Okay, who was the Pirates catcher that got slid into by Anthony Rizzo? Uh, Il 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 Ilias Diaz. Okay, that was talked about for like a week. Okay, and Rizzo see... barely clipped him. Did you? See... <laughs> and then, 
And then what was it? Um, Joe Musgrove. What did you think about his slide? Okay, it Joe, was, Joe Musgrove slid into Javier Baez, and then Javier Baez was, not, was like, "What? You trying to injure me?" And then Joe Musgrove was like, "No, I'm just making a good slide. Can yeah, we not touch to, people you anymore? To, <laughs> What's you did the problem? to us, like you did to us. So why can't we do it to you?" Bro, he he barely even. It, it was a good slide. He did what he would do directly what he was told to do, which is slide straight through the base. That's all you have to do. He did that, and then Javier Baez is like, oh, what are you doing? And Joe Musgrove's like, I don't know. I'm just playing baseball. What are you doing? <laughs> Complaining to me about it, right? I mean, you know, like, they made up, and Javier okay, Baez but... probably looked at the replay or something later. Okay, but to be fair, he was fine, the... but... but to be fair, the slide into Diaz did mess up the throw to first. Which yeah. I understand you want to break it, up the double it did. play, but uh, but okay. if if based, you're going to do the it, current rules, I don't know how that slide didn't you know get overturned to be an illegal slide. I mean, because... they later out who's Rizzo slide. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they later came out and said like we got that call wrong. Yeah, because they did. Be- based off the current rules, they did. They did. Yeah. Okay, but you know. I'm also thinking about it from Rizzo's perspective. I saw Eric Burns mention this on MLB Tonight. You know, when you're going home, right? You know, like, tie game, whatever, sack fly, right? You're on third base. When you're running home, and all any players out there listening to this also know this. When you're running home, you're not thinking about, oh, you know, where can I slide, right? You're thinking about, I need to score. You know, I'm going to do what I Any can way to possible. try and score. Right? I mean, obviously, you know you can't freaking, you know, just truck over the catcher. I mean, obviously, after today, Matt Kemp doesn't know that. But, <laughs> like, they're not thinking about, oh, am I in the lane? Oh, is the catcher going to be okay? No, they're thinking, oh, I'm trying to score this run so my team can win the game. Which, it made sense from a player's perspective. You know, and if, okay, they got that call wrong, and I don't think, I think they're going to be a little more cautious now towards that kind of thing. You know, we may not see another slide like that or, you know, what apparently what Matt Kemp thought was a slide <laughs> late, later in the season. You know, we'll probably see like one or two kind of like it. It yeah. really depends what the scenario is. And could he have avoided making contact? I don't really like that argument, like, at all. That if he could have avoided... I don't think there he could have. I mean, he could have slid in and just not, like, truck the catcher but still oh the matt kemp slide yeah okay matt kemp had like five seconds matt kemp was gonna slide head first anyway but he's like oh i'll just take two extra steps and just truck him over right <laughs> still he had him he was gonna make contact even if he just slid in you know well he would have but you could slide head first and he was out by five feet was, yeah i don't know give up <laughs> <laughs> stop in the middle of the baseline mm-hmm. but you know, I'm re- I'm really concerned about all of this pace of play kind and of stuff because don't make contact with each other. I see them testing it in the minors. It's making games shorter, which you know, less at time, but you know, whatever. But <laughs> they, let's pander to the casual audience. Yeah. Okay. Casual. Piss off everyone else. Casual fans that think baseball is boring. You can make baseball a two minute sport. They will still think it's boring. Yeah, because they don't they don't get it. They don't get everything going on between pitches, right? You know. Instead, they you go to a game. Look look around you, okay? Everybody, there's people on their phone. You'll see the hardcore fans, right? You'll see you'll see them. They're watching the game. Like okay, the even the hardcore fans will occasionally check their phone. You know, whatever. But not nearly as much as a casual fan will. Sometimes they'll even shut their phone just to look at another score of another baseball game. (laughs) But, like, and then, you know, you'll look around and then you'll see, I don't know, some girl that's sitting, like, two seats to the right of you. You know, she's constantly, you know, taking Snapchats, you know, sending pictures to a boyfriend or whatever. And then that's why I now have to sit behind a net because she can't pay attention. Yeah, um, P- I, it's me. It's casual fans who's ruining the ruining the game, and uh, I mean, or especially the casual fans who are complaining extreme amounts to get things changed that nobody else likes. Okay, the minor the minor league team that I I have season tickets to, right? Yeah, like a fan who was sitting like pretty low to the field. Okay, 
you know, he got hit with a line drive foul ball, right? That sucks, okay? But the thing is, he wasn't paying attention, and then he try he's trying to sue the team. Is he really saying it's their the fault? Even though it says on the back Wait, of the ticket. Wait, is he really trying to sue the yes, team? Yes, he's trying to sue the team. It oh says on the, on the back of the ticket, oh, watch out we... for flying objects. There are signs everywhere that say watch out Pay for attention. flying baseballs and bats. This is a live game. These things move very fast. And because of that guy and the girl that can't stop texting her boyfriend, I now have to sit behind a stupid net to enjoy the greatest game on planet Earth. Get misty when I talk, see the way I walk. Furry Gucci slippers when I pull up on your block. All these birds, I gotta fly.